This is Steve Wilson and the XCraft SeaJets video tutorial series. In this video we're going to cover the autopilot functions, primarily focusing on the flight guidance control panel, as well as the autopilot page in the Tectum FMS. So with that, let's go ahead and get back to the cockpit. And this is your flight guidance control panel, otherwise known as the FGCP. Uh, what do all these indicators mean? Well, basically, FD stands for Flight Director. That's the servos that connect the autopilot to the flight control surfaces. The AP is your autopilot, and basically we're engaged right now, so the autopilot is telling the flight director where you want to go, taking input from either your navigation radios, your GPS, or in this case, it's simply holding your current heading. Uh, that's indicated by this little button and indicator right here. Uh, we are also in auto throttle mode, so the aircraft is automatically maintaining its airspeed for you. We're also in altitude hold mode, holding a constant altitude. Your heading is found in the PFD to the top left of the compass rows. Your airspeed to hold is in the top left corner of the PFD. And your altitude to hold is in the top right corner of the, of the PFD. Uh, these uh, functions are basically adjusted using the knobs underneath the indicators. Airspeed is set. In other words, if you change it, you're going to get it immediately. So, for example, right now we're heading 085. We'll make a left turn to, say, 080. That's now set, and we're turning to a course of 080. At any point in time, Whatever heading I'm on, I can press the center of the heading knob and synchronize the heading that we're currently on, injecting that into my heading to fly. Auto throttle is centrally left and right. You can see the counterclockwise and the clockwise arrows. If I wanted to decrease my speed, for example, right now, observing the top left-hand corner of the PFD, using the left or counterclockwise, counterclockwise arrow, I'm now slowing down to a, an airspeed setting of uh, 285 knots. I'm making a differentiation here between setting something and selecting something. We select our altitude, but we don't necessarily automatically fly to that altitude. You need to select a vertical mode uh, with that uh, altitude setting in order to change altitudes deserves an entire video all by itself. It's a straightforward concept, but I don't want to muddy the waters here. And that pretty much takes care of the uh, uh, FGCP. Let's go ahead and take a look at the FMS autopilot page now. And here we are in the radio page. We go to the index and into the autopilot. Again, I, was, I set my heading, I set my speed, I select my altitude. So if I, change, if I change the altitude here, and I can do that one of two ways, I can enter a, I can enter a course on the scratch pad using the, the buttons on the, uh, the MCDU uh, control panel. Once I inject that here, the aircraft is automatically going to start to turn. If I change my airspeed, which I can also use, direct keyboard entry. I'm now going to set my airspeed to 280 and as you can see the aircraft is going to very slowly start to decrease its airspeed. If I change my altitude setting, excuse, excuse me, I'm correcting myself. Good that you're seeing me do that. I'm changing my altitude selection to 30,000 feet. But nothing's going to happen unless I select one of the uh, vertical modes that will allow the aircraft to change uh, to that altitude. Uh, we also would set a vertical speed here, uh, depending upon what mode we're using. Um, and that pretty much takes care of it as far as what you can do, uh, actively entering values in the autopilot page. You can change uh, units from mock to, uh, to indicated airspeed back again if you need to. Uh, the center column just basic, basically gives you uh, readouts of what uh, your aircraft is doing at the moment as well as uh, 
current settings uh, in the autopilot and uh, it's just a repeater of some of the things that you can see on the FGCP. And that pretty much wraps this one up. I hope this entertained and uh, educated and look forward to seeing you in the next one and otherwise uh, have a great day.